Section 1-4, Words to Symbols. Objective, to translate phrases into variable or algebraic ex expressions. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at sentences and words and try to turn them into numbers, basically. But we look for some key words, like... For addition, the key words we look for are sum, increase, more than. The sum of 5 and 3 is 8. Subtraction, difference, less than, decreased by minus. 8 decreased by 3 is 5. 8 less, eight less than, well, say 8 less than 10 is 2. 6 less than 4 is negative 2. Mm, whoa. All right. Multiplication, the product of times or just of, all alone. So sometimes you see of all alone like half of eight. Well, that's half times eight. Half times eight is four. What else? Division, quotient divided by. So we're going to look for these special words. We're going to look at these um, phrases and see if we can use those key words to give us a clue on what operation we should use in our expression. All right. Over here we've got a couple. I'm going to show you how you can slowly build to the bottom. The bottom one is three less than half of the sum of a number in two. Now, that's a mouthful. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top and slowly work our way down. All right. Three less than a number. Well, three less than ten is seven, which is ten minus three. Three less than eleven is eight. So... We're subtracting less than. So let's see. Three less than a number is going to be three less. Oh, where's my green? Oh, there you go. Get over here. Three less than some number. Ten. So no matter what I put in here, if I put a ten in here, will this give me three less than ten? Let's see. Ten minus three, seven. If I put five in here, let's see. Five minus three, two. So three less than a number is always that number, some number, minus three. We'll give you three less. Now we're doing the same thing. We're doing three less than, again. So it's going to be three less than something. But here it's not just a number. This time it's three less than half of a number. Of is multiplied. So this is going to be three less than, I'm going to have something, half of a number. It's half of a number. It's written like that. Multiplication is implied. The only operation you, you don't need to show, show the sort of sign for. Now we're doing, we're building two more. We're doing three less than again. Three less than something. Three less than half of something. Half of something. Half times something, right? Half of a sum. Whoa. Three less than half of a sum. Half of a sum. A sum is like when we add two things. So it's going to be half of a sum. Sum of what? Now don't get confused here. You see an of here, okay? There's going to be of sometimes in sentences that don't mean multiplication. And it's going to look like this. The sum of. The sum of. That of. That of alone doesn't mean multiplication. It's multiplying, okay? So, this one does. Now, this is, because this goes together. The sum of a number and two. This is the sum of a number and two. This is half the sum of a number and two. This is three less than half the sum of a number and two. Make sense? It will. Give it some time. Let's do some more problems. All right. Now, these are tricky problems. Hey, get out of the way, bored man. Stop giggling. Now, Teddy weighs 23 pounds more than Andrew. Okay? So, let's see. If Teddy weighs T pounds, then what does Andrew weigh? Hmm. Teddy weighs T pounds, that's weighs 23 pounds more than Andrew. Well, let's slow down for a second. If Teddy weighs 23 pounds more than Andrew, can I say Andrew weighs 23 pounds less? Yes, I can. Because it's if Teddy weighs more than Andrew, right, Teddy, Andrew, then Andrew weighs less than Teddy. Okay? All right. So I just put that clue up there. Sometimes when I see less than more than I kind of, I, I, I write, you know, 
I, I flip it and write a little bit different so I can think of it in two different ways from both sides. So let's see. Now, if Teddy weighs T pounds, then Andy weighs, hmm, well, let's see. Teddy weighs 23 pounds more. Let's say Teddy weighs 23 pounds. Let's put that in here first. I like to work with numbers. If Teddy weighs 23 pounds, then Andy weighs zero, right? How did I do that? I took Teddy's weight and I subtracted 23. Is that a little bit confusing? Let's, let's try, let's try with, with another number example. Suppose Teddy weighed 53 pounds. A lot of times when we're ch ch changing sentences into equations, we, we, we have to think of it in a way that we can, you know, that it clicks in our brain. So I know if Teddy weighs 53 pounds, I know what Andy's going to weigh. 53 minus the 23. He's going to weigh 30 pounds. Okay. But that's not what the question was asking. It was saying, what if he weighed T pounds? So instead of 53 minus 23, we do T minus 23. Oh. Now the next question. If Andy weighs M pounds, then what does Teddy weigh? Well, we know Teddy weighs 23 pounds more than whatever Andy weighs. So if Andy weighs M, Anyway, weighs 23 more than that. Hmm. Now, I another tricky one. What if Teddy weighs X minus 8 pounds? Then what does Andy weigh? Hmm. Well, we know that Andy always weighs 23 pounds less, right? So Andy weighs 23 pounds less than whatever Teddy weighs. So, oops, sorry. So you put whatever Teddy weighs here, and you subtract 23 like it is here. Now Teddy weighs X minus 8. X minus 8 minus 23. Woo, all done. Well, can I, can I sub go simplify this a little bit more? Yes, I can take away 8 and take away, so I have a minus 8 minus 23. All together it's a X minus, let's see, 23, 31. Pound, 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 pound. Don't get the units. Whoops, pound. Um, all right, now we're going to do three more cookies and we'll be all done. Now, how many minutes in M hours? Well, how many minutes in two hours? Huh? Two times 60, right? How many in three? And how many in M? Well, two hours and two times 60. Three hours, three times 60. So M hours, hmm, M times 60. And we like to put this. The, the, the number part of this uh, of this term in the front we call it coefficient 60 m hours. Right. Ooh, the difference between eight and half a number. Difference, subtraction. And when you see the difference between, you just write it just in the order it says. The difference between a, the difference is subtraction between a and something. A and what? Half of a number. We know half of a number is half n, right? So the difference between 8 and half of a number is 8 minus half n. And finally, we have one more problem. Eight years ago, Lippy was n years old. How old is he now? Hmm. Well, if 8 years ago he was 0, now he'd be 8. If 8 years ago he was 10, now he'd be 18. If 8 years ago he was 20, now he'd be 28. So now he's going to be eight, more, 8 years more than he used to be. Well, he used to be n. Now he's just eight more than that, right? Now they're saying, how old is he going to be in three years? Well, just three years older than he is now. So now he's n plus eight. In three years, he's going to be n plus eight plus three more years, or n plus eleven. All right. Any questions? Bring them to class, and we'll talk later. Peace.